All right, today what we're talking about is character. And one of the things we're trying to do with a lot of these videos um, that I've been doing recently is we're trying to uh, demystify and take the ambiguity off certain words and stuff like that. And um, certain words, sayings, mindsets, you name it, so that you could have a clear, concise understanding of what is meant when you hear these terms or uh, when they're used, um, depending on how they're used. So what we're talking about today is character, what it means to have character or be a man of impeccable character. And also, how does that line up with the word, with what the, with what the Bible says? So um, a quick definition of the word character is the mental or moral qualities distinctive to an individual. Um, you, if, if you want to have a stress-free life, you want to make sure you surround yourself with people of character, people that have character, people of a high moral character, people of impeccable character. Um, and as you've seen by the definition, you hear the word morals in there. When you hear that, think the laws, righteousness, being obedient to the law, statutes, commandments that are laid out in the word. Um, let, let's, let's dive in a little deeper on, uh, on character. Okay. Uh, which you're going to, we'll, we'll read this one here. It says, having characters about the core qualities that make you, you. It's not just about what you say, but what you do, especially when faced with challenges. Okay? So it said, especially when faced with challenges. So it, it you know, and this is why it takes time to get to know people. Um, this is why they have that saying, you got to go through something to get to something. You got uh, I, red flags go up for me when somebody is pushing to really, um, they want to get like familiar and they want, they want to be tight with you real fast. Uh, no, nah, that's something um, true brotherhood, a true friendship is something that's slow cooked. You know, you got, you got to go through some, uh, you got to go through some situations in order to really know who you're working with. Because like we read here, it says, it's not just about what you say, but what you do. Okay. And then even to, they took it a step deeper it's not just about what you do. It's particularly about what you do when you're faced with challenges, when you're in those critical situations where, you know, um, those emotionally charged situations where it, it could go either way, but um, you have to rely on, not on your feelings, not on what your feelings are, are clearly telling you in a situation, but what your morals, or to be better said, what the word says to do. Because I can't tell you the number of times I see people, um, you know, they, you know, they're all good. They, they appear to be good. And appear to be good people, everything like that, righteous, everything. But then, when the shit hits the fan, and they and it's they in a critical situation, and we know what's right, we know what's wrong, but out of convenience, out of feeling, out of emotion, they choose evil, they choose wrong, and a lot of times it's the societal norm that they choose, which we know a lot of times the societal norms, a lot of times go against the word. You know, you see this a lot when it comes to people. I talk about people, places, things. A lot of people, when it comes to their family, 
you know, you'll you'll see what their character is made up of when it comes to certain things that they hold near and dear to them. You know, you'll you'll know who you're dealing with. So that's why anytime you have a person and they kind of rush in to really be tight and close and all this, red flag should go up. And, and hey, you tell them, hey, this is a crock pot over here. We slow cook it. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. So what we're going to talk about now is... Uh, some key aspects of having strong character, okay? Uh, values. These are the things that are important to you, the principles you try to live by. Honesty, fairness, compassion, responsibility are all common values. So you, when, when you are in a pressure situation, um, Going back to that little saying, I said, you got to go through something to get to something. So when you're in a pressure situation, you're going to see who, what people's values truly are, what they value. Okay. Just like, I mean, it's that simple. You're going to see what they value. Do they value brotherhood? Do they put their brother first or do they value themselves? And their comfort and their convenience. Do they value what the word says or do they value whatever else? You're going to see it. But again, you got to go through something to get to something. Um, time always tells. You know what I'm saying? And, and when we say time tells, I'm going to break that down too. The reason why time always tells is because in time... You're going to go through something, some type of pressure situation, and you'll know someone's character and their makeup and everything like that. Integrity. Ah, this is a big one. This is about sticking to your values even when it's difficult. It's about being honest and acting ethically even when no one is watching, okay? Um, and like I said, I've, I've seen a lot of people when the pressure's on and you're watching, I, I watch a lot of people jeopardize their integrity. They'll lie, they'll do whatever to preserve themselves and and you know, what they want and everything like that, that there's no integrity. And without integrity, I, I mean, that's all that's saying a lot about your character, about what you stand for. You stand for self and to make yourself look good. You know what I'm saying? So that that's a heavy one right there is that that uh, that integrity. Um. Here go, here go another one, another uh, character trait. That's courage. This isn't just about physical bravery. It's about means, standing up for. Uh, I'm sorry. It also means standing up for what you believe in, even when it's unpopular. So again, and this almost ties right back in to integrity, because if you have no courage, you're gonna you're not gonna have that boldness to stand on truth. So it, it, this is almost like a domino effect where if you're lacking in one, it's gonna collapse others. You know what I'm saying? But having courage, that boldness to hey. It is what it is. I'm standing on principle. Um, here's another one. Resilience. This is the ability to denounce back. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the ability to bounce back from setbacks. People with character can learn from their mistakes and keep going. So 
this is one of the things I talk that I talk about because it's important to know yourself. You know what I'm saying? And if if you know yourself, th- th- one of the key ways to to get to know yourself and who you are and everything like that is you learn from your mistakes. Um, Kobe Bryant was asked in an interview, how do you feel what's your mindset when you lose like when you lose a game or you lose big what how does that affect you what is your mindset on that he said when I lose I get excited and and they're like you get excited and he's like yeah because I know in that loss and that setback there is something big to be learned there and it's going to be real obvious and everything like that and I'm I'm putting my own self in there and how I think about it too. I know when when something messes up, there's an issue. There's something big to be taken from in there that I can learn. What does it feel like in the moment? It sucks. It hurts. It's it's painful. It's humiliating. It's degrading. You know, sometimes going through a, a mistake or a setback or whatever. But it's it's like a repetition thing. When you get in the repetition of, okay, now you're prepared. You're expecting these feelings. Hey, let me get through these feelings in a righteous way. And then let me let me look at what I can fix to reach higher levels of righteousness, holiness, you know, be in alignment with uh the word and not in some holier than thou type way and all this stuff like that no in a way so i could have life and have it more abundantly and not have to be suffering all the time and just really walk in uh the blessings and the peace that the most high has um laid out for us and given us to walk in um but we got to keep in mind that you have to go through something to get to something so but resilience is one of those character traits the ability to bounce back from setbacks and not make excuses and blame shift and point the finger and not grow from it because when you make excuses about stuff when you just overlook setbacks and your mistakes and your sins and the things you wrestle with when you just continually overlook it and you're not willing to own it with extreme ownership, if if you can't do that, then you're not going to grow. And this is why you have a lot of people, they're just stagnant. They're stagnant. They're spiritually stagnant. Okay? All right. So, let's see what what it says here is, some, someone with good character is someone you can rely on on they are trustworthy dependable and they treat others with respect they make good decisions even in tough situations and brother says that these are the type of saints these are the type of people you want to have in your life people of good character these are the type of people you want to um, surround yourself with so you can have life and life more abundantly. You want to mark those that don't have these qualities. You want to remove yourself from those types of people. And the reality is when you're a person of high uh, character or, uh, or you're a person of impeccable character or you strive for that, you you're gonna put out you uh you're gonna put out you're gonna repel people of low character i'll just put it like that you know what i'm saying that they're gonna tend to shy away from you because that light that's emanating from you is just too uncomfortable for them to be around they they like to live in darkness and you're just gonna naturally repel these people you know, um, so that was a good one there. Let's see what else we got. 
So we have some uh, some sayings that cap that they say capture the essence of character. Character is what you do when no one is watching. And like I said, I I've I see people, man, purposely just sit back, watch. Hey, let's see how they're gonna respond on this. They gonna they gonna be honest. Are they gonna try to tap dance? Like, what are they gonna do? And uh, here, here's another saying that I I say sometimes. Um, I didn't make it up, but it's um, what you're doing speaks so loud I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> That's a good one there. All right, so here's another uh, um, character saying, popular one I guess. The ultimate test of a man's character is his willingness to postpone his immediate pleasures for long-term values. Wow, that's good. So when you see people who, you know, like some 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 things that that'll show you that that could be, and I said could be a potential indicator that someone is a person of character. This is an outward thing you can look at is their health. You know, are they in shape? Their conditioning. And I'm not saying that's the end all be all. And I'm not saying every I'm not saying everybody who's in shape, that automatically means they have character. And I'm not saying it automatically means I'm not saying it means that everybody who's out of shape it that um they don't have character. I'm not saying that that's what that means, but it, it, it could be a potential indicator. But what I am saying is if you're a person of high character or who aspires to having character, you need to start discerning the character of the people around you and the people who are of low character, you need to begin removing from yourself. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to reach the high levels of character or as the Bible would call it, the high levels of righteousness that you would um, desire to reach. Um, I'm Michael Israel. You're watching Spiritual Combat. Shalom.